Hey, so Zerotha recently announced Kite MCP, which basically allows you to connect AI agents to your Zerotha account and have them analyze your portfolio and do all sorts of other things. It is pretty simple to get started with, so I thought I'd record like a quick video to show you how you can do it. Because if you don't know what MCP is, MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and it's basically a way to, you know, let AI agents take actions or get information from your own platform. So if you're a platform like Zerotha, you can implement MCP, and then AI agents can basically use that to talk to your platform or basically know how to get information from your platform or execute actions on your platform. So an example I can think of is like any plugin system or extension system. So if you're using Chrome, you can have different extensions for different things, right? Similarly, just like you have an AI agent or a model, you can have these um, MCP integrations, you can call them, which allow the model to interact with different platforms which it might not be able to do on its own by default. Okay, so let's take a quick look and see how you can use AI agents to analyze your stock portfolio. All right, the first thing you need to do is go to the Cloud website and download Cloud for Desktop. So you can go here and you know search for Cloud Desktop and here you can go to the download Cloud link and just, I'm on macOS, so just download Cloud for your operating system. And this guide would be for macOS, but similar instructions for all systems. So download that and once that is done, install it and we'll see what you need to do on your Cloud Desktop. Okay, so once you have Cloud Desktop installed, uh, what you need to do is you need to go to your help option here and you would see an option which would say enable developer settings or something like that. And you need to click that to enable access to developer settings for your Cloud Desktop. So I have already done that. That is why I see this new tab called developer here. And you might not see it initially unless you enable that developer settings option. Once you start seeing this developer option here, what you need to do is go to Cloud and settings and uh, here, go to the developer setting option you see here and I already have like guide configured but I'm going to delete it just to show you how you can do it from scratch so you'll see something like this which is empty you click on uh, edit config and that would open up the configuration file where it's located open it with your text editor or I'm using um, VS code here and you'll see that there is like a section in MCP server or it might even just be empty but what we need to do is we need to add the kite configuration as an MCP server here. So the code for this, I'll link this blog, obviously, you'll find in Zerotha's blog. So just copy this particular code snippet uh, and then we can just paste it on VS Code and hit save and just close everything. So close this and this should now be ready. What you now need to do is you need to restart your cloud desktop. So I'm gonna close it and then I'm gonna reopen cloud. And when you do this, you should confirm that, you know, it loaded your configuration by again going to settings developer. And now you should see that Kite is here and it's running. If you are on Windows, your setup might look different. But if you're on Mac OS or Linux, make sure you have NPX, NPM installed because it will use that. So when all of those things are done, you can go to search and tools and here you will see the Kite option. And it you'll also see that you have different things, you know, uh, enabled here. So you have things like uh, cancel order or get positions, get your orders, get your holdings, login and all of that stuff. So when we use it, uh, it will ask us to authenticate with Kite and you need to do that. But let's take an example of, you know, uh, how you can use this to analyze your inve investment portfolio. So I can ask it a question like, what's been my worst performing stock in my maybe like Kite portfolio? And when you send it the first request, it's going to ask you that, you know, that you need to log in into Kite and you have to do that only after then it will be able to answer your request. So you see how after thinking it's like, uh, you know, that I need access to your Kite account in order to do this. And so it will give you a link and just click on that link and log in. So I'm going to open this link and complete the login process, which I am not showing because it is not safe. The login process is exactly how it would be, you know, when you're trying to log into Zerodha website or Kite using your desktop. So once you complete that process, you will see like a screen which says login successful. And after that, you just reply that, you know, I have logged in or try again or something like that. Uh, and then Claude will know that, you know, 
now it can talk to the kite platform securely and you see that it is executing like getting holdings here and it will try to fetch our holdings and see okay so there was something that went wrong and uh, it was not able to fetch our holdings and it's asking us to log in again this might happen and um, it has happened before also with me and the only solution so far for this is just to redo the login process so if it does not work the first time don't lose hope just go through the process again and just type here try now or something like that and then this time around i'm hopeful it should work so it is trying to get our holdings and hopefully this time it will be successful and you see that right now it is able to you know see that based on your kite portfolio holdings your worst performing stock is this with a loss of this and gives you all the details and it also tells you like other loss making positions or stocks in my portfolio so this was an example of only one of the things you could ask but you can ask it other things also you know related to analyzing your entire portfolio suggesting you something or just letting you know which was like how much profit did you earn in a year or how much year on year returns you have been saying and anything you can imagine which is there related to the data in your zerodha account you can probably analyze that using an ai agent like claude all right so this was it this was a very quick video on how you can use ai agents to analyze your stock portfolio with kite or zerodha i hope you found the video useful and if you would like to see more of this content or in general you like the video i would really appreciate if you can subscribe the channel and even share the video with other people because i'm trying to grow this channel and any help would be much appreciated i'll see you in the next video and until then have fun playing around with claude and zerodha